Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And I'm still on the Christmas roll. And here are the principles invested in the event of Christmas or whatever you choose to call it, celebration of the birth of Christ. The, here are the principles, uh, and I'm still intrigued or I'm still excited about a particular couple in Luke chapter 1. Their name is Elizabeth and her husband Zacharias the priest. Now, uh, uh, Elizabeth it's, it's a very profound story for me. I, I like to um, call today's title Pathways of Discouragement with a question mark. Pathways of Discouragement with a question mark. So I'm asking a question. Now, Elizabeth, you know, the Bible says her husband was the priest and I'm sure she was very supportive because that's what it is. And her husband would go to the temple every time to pray for other people, intercede, serve, and sacrifice. He had been doing it regularly for a very long time. And the Bible says she didn't have a child. She's gone to the temple to see other people's children being dedicated. She didn't have a child. Her husband performing that role. And I'm sure when she looks at the way the husband will hold the baby and cuddle the baby, you know, this man wants a child badly. But here's the interesting thing. And here's the interesting thing. Every time Elizabeth would go to the temple with her husband or something like that and still she didn't have a child and he kept delaying and he kept delaying and he kept delaying and so I can understand that I mean she constantly walked the pathway of discouragement she constantly walked that pathway of being reminded that she didn't have a child until she got to the place where she gave up she didn't have, there was no prospect because she had passed childbearing age she had passed it she had gone beyond that. And so, nothing. I mean, uh, uh, she, 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 hold, she held a professor degree in menopause. That, that's what it is. And I kept wondering. But then all of a sudden, you know, Zacharias gets a visitation and just one day, just one day, God, that's the thing I like about it. When all hope is gone suddenly, when all hope is gone just one day, the tables turn favorably. The die, the throw of the dice favored uh, Elizabeth. And then she got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, now her pregnancy was not just any other pregnancy. It was a supernatural pregnancy. It was a prophetic pregnancy. Because in a womb was a giant of a prophet. In a womb was a man that Jesus described. He says, amongst men born of women, none is greater than what Elizabeth was carrying. That's how Jesus described John. He said, amongst men born of women, none is greater than he. So, and, and, and Jesus said, listen, this person that Elizabeth is carrying is more than a prophet. This is whom, the one was written a long time ago. So, Elizabeth was carrying an ancient prophetic declaration. And I was wondering, so all the delay was for this particular purpose. Do you know why the delay? Do you know she walked that path of discouragement? Was it a path of discouragement? It's just simple. Timing. The timing for her child was not right. He was being programmed. He was being prepared. So just when Christ, the Christ was about to appear, then he would come to fulfill his purpose. If Elizabeth had given child 40 years, 60 years ago, should have given birth to a child, but he'll be out of his time. He'll be out of his season. And the purpose for which he was sent will not, might not be accomplished. So the timing. So listen, don't you dare get discouraged. Walk that pathway. There may be light at the end of a tunnel you will not see. And for God, it doesn't matter whether you're 80 years, because Moses was 80 years when ministry started. When he came into the full glow of ministry. Sarai was, was, was many years old before she had. So I, I don't, and, and don't say, well, this is what the natural distance is. God, the thing about God is he operates in the supernatural. 
He supersedes the natural. He breaks all the natural laws. He walked on water. He broke the law of gravity. He, 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 he multiplied food. <laughs> he, he multiplied five loaves of bread. He defied the laws of uh, production. I mean, taking raw materials and then producing. He defied every law. So God has a capability to defy every law. Just for your sake. The timing, the timing, the timing. So you know what? That road you walk is not a pathway of discouragement. That road is not a pathway of discouragement. No. It's a question of God's timing and God's season. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. That's the difference. So you know what? Don't put your head down. Lift up your head. Never say never. Never say never. So your story is not over until it is over. If God can do it for Elizabeth at that old age, he's still in the miracle working business, he can also do it for you. And what you are carrying might be greater and more glorious because always the glory of the latter house is always greater than the glory of the former. So what you're carrying might be greater than what has ever preceded you. So rejoice and be happy for somebody else you are also going to carry your own and yours might be bigger and better better is the end of a matter than is beginning thereof and sometimes god waits not because it is delay god delays and it is not denial but god delays because he wants to time it according to his purpose so that the thing will rhyme and sync with his purpose that's sometimes a reason for you, so that your testimony will be greater than all others. So it is not delay, it is not denial, it is just delay. And here's the thing, it is not the pathway of discouragement, it is rather a pathway of God's timing. And he's going to make it come to pass. And it's time. He makes all things beautiful. See you later.